praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. We give glory to the Lord Almighty. We thank Jesus for bringing us this far. We bless the name of God for what He's doing in our lives. Our Father who art in heaven, our Lord be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done enough as this in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thou is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So God bless everybody that have joined us. God bless you all for joining us. We love you with the love of God. Today is Friday. And as a matter of fact, it is by the grace of God, it is by the message of Jesus. That is why we are here. If you are watching me, please kindly share the video. Let's invite our brothers, our colleagues to join us. God bless all those who have joined us. Brother Jau, I don't know whether I see okay. God bless whoever is watching me right now. Wherever you are watching me from, the Lord bless you so much for joining me. Lord Almighty bless you, good people of God. It is by the grace of Jesus that is why we are here. Please. His mess is over us. Oh. We bless the name of Yahweh. Wherever you are, we welcome you tonight. We welcome every soul that are joining us. God bless you all. We bless the name of God. We honor the name of Jesus. We bless the name of God in the name of Jesus. Glory be to the Lord. Mama Linda says upon God bless you. We welcome every soul. We welcome every soul that has joined us. Mama Linda says upon uh, Brother Champon. Elias. Oh, okay. Elias, welcome. Number no, number no, me send a message in mouth. So that is why I have not received the number. Mama Sovia Kese. Mama Sovia, God bless you. Mama, um, Linda, we salute you. Hallelujah. Brother Elias, I am our friend. Why? God bless you. Whatever you are, please share the link and let's invite our brothers, our sisters to join us. Today is a great, a good, beautiful, brand new day. But by the grace of God, we'll be here with a man of God, um, Pastor Kessie. He'll be here. Pastor Henry Kessie will be with us very soon. So I encourage everybody here. That if you are joining us, please share the link. God bless you. God bless you. Today is Friday. It's not easy. Hallelujah. Oh, okay. 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 It's not easy to be here at this hour. It's not easy at all. It is only God who can. We bless the name of God. We bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Be unto the name of the Father. We glorify his name. His mercy is all over us. Thank God. Good evening to each and everyone who have joined us. We thank God we are all here once again to share the word of God. Tonight we'll be here with uh, Pastor Henry Kessy. Pastor Henry Kessy to share the word of God. Maybe prophetess can also join him. Then we'll all share the word of God together. Today is going to be a blessed day. So wherever you are, kindly stay good, share the feed, thank God, and let us share the word of God together. Mama Doris, love bridge. Mama Eradi, oh, shall be brave. Say, and then so, oh, what your term? Nia ba, a kosia. Oh, okay. A kosia de pa. Oh, great, great, great. Okay. I've seen you. God bless you for joining us, Akos. God richly bless you for joining us. Radi Ensha will be there and then one journey. Yeah, that a radius. I can't hear what's that. I'm a baby. That a radius. Prepare. Swa. Odi. Yeah. Aba. Abedi. 
We give thanks to God for all that He has done for us. Wherever you are, kindly give thanks to God for what He has done for you. Praise His name. Lift up His name higher because He has so, been so faithful to us. He has been so faithful to us. See, baby, we are one. We are not one that is ready. As we are going to do, we are going to do. We are missing you and mommy so much. Mommy and dad. Uh, brother Elias, we have missed you too. And Radi Ensha said, Ne, who are your team? Radi Ensha will be there when I come home. Yami Afuna Alenda Osei support Prempe. Mama, Radi Ensha be brave. I'm not Prempe yet. Radi Ensha can't say that. The one of God. And Ne, who are your team? Radi Ensha will be brave. Prophetess to be a case. Mama, Radi Ensha wants to say, Sabre, also who are your team? Radisha will be our journey. Elias, a radisha. I could see a depa. A radisha. Mama Doris, a radisha. Mama Betty Boche, a radisha. A radisha won't sue our camera home. Now a dear me who did not acknowledge you. A radisha. A radisha. God has seen you all for joining us. God has seen you all. So as you have joined, kindly share the feed. If you join, then you share the feed. Kindly share it. Share it to the glory of God. Uh, share the food for us to the glory of God. So I thank God for teaching reaching you. I'm a pa mama the paradise. See, I'm grateful to join you all today, mom and dad. Uh, we thank God. Because God is good all the time. All the time. Our God is good. Our God has been so faithful to us. So wherever you are, people of God, give thanks to God. Give thanks to God. As we have a little bit of time uh, to, to, to give thanks to God before we start the feed. So don't hesitate to do so. Kindly give thanks to God. Kindly give thanks to God. Mr. Frederick, Ousu Jawu, Papa God, we should bless you so much for joining us. As you may God bless this union, replenish and nourish all in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Mr. Ousu Jawu, Jawu, Papa, Eladi Osha, the baby. Whether I was in Sube, the baby. Eladi Osha, what was your name? Eladi Osha, and Eladi Osha, and so can see. Say, Amen, who are your children? And the radio said, "I pray for you, Father. What time am I in? Today is Friday. Today is Friday. And then yesterday you were here. Today too you are here. It means God has given us another opportunity. So many of you, you have found your your cry and cry to Him and Juma. So in as much as we are working on our souls, as much as we are working on our on our souls, maybe in our home, wherever, always let us find it a time." To be together in the presence where a uh, man of God or people of God have met to share the word of God. So I thank God that today has not been an exception, and we are here once again with us to share the word of God together, as the word says. It's a radi oshrapa. I know. So baby, I yes here in Christo or in term. It says also baby, I benu and I basel shiano. Now I know radi nyaku po oho. So tonight we are more than ten. On this platform, therefore, it means Christ is with us. I'm a Juliet. Take it. Our teacher said, "No way, Tim." So, if Christ is here, we all give thanks and honor unto His name for what He has done for us. You are still thanking God, and you are still sharing. The word of God. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to share. Madam Pinjua, please, how is your beautiful daughter doing? How is she doing? Because God told me she's doing very well right now. So how is she doing? I pray for her that whatever she is, may God continue to heal her. May she start doing things that she was not that she has not been doing, it. and may she start seeing a new change in everything in her life. In the name of Jesus, it is well with you, my brother. God bless you. Whatever you are, please share the link. Whatever you are, just share the link. Can you tell God that, Lord, I thank you, I appreciate you. It is by him. That is why we are here. God bless you all for joining us. Beloved, share the link, share the link. Share the link and the Lord will surely bless you. God bless you. So God bless. I'm so happy today for seeing you all tonight. I'm a pa. Yes, we are near to say amen. Yes, we are here now. Oh, yes, we are here. Ready, Israel, baby. 
I'm a cousin, but you mean you say, What about trying a bar my affair? Mama Vida, a bay at it. Mammy, a lady, oh, sure, we agree. Glory to bless you for joining us. Mr. Prince, Steve Junior, Papa, glory to bless you, too, for being with us. See, she is fine now. She's fine now, daddy. Amen and amen. We thank God that she's doing well. We thank God. People of God, share the food for us. If you have not shared it, kindly share. If you have not shared it, kindly share. As you have praised God, you have thanked God, and you are sharing, let us also pray. Let us also pray so that we can continue with what is left for us to know tonight. God bless you all, people of God. God richly bless you. But Ajiwa, I pray for your daughter. I pray that may God heal her permanently. I pray for divine grace. I pray that may God touch her shoulder. May God tap her shoulder. May, may God increase her strength physically. I pray against any forces of darkness assigned to attack her life in the name of Jesus. By the power of the blood of Jesus. Father, we bless your name. We glorify your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name. Whatever you are, let me pray so that we can start the program. I don't know where you are watching us from, but allow me to pray so we can start. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We bless you. We worship you. Your name. We glorify your holy name. We honor you and we give you thanks. Father, we thank you for bringing us this far. It is by you and it's by your grace. That is why we are here. Father, I surrender my life and everybody here unto you. And we confess with our mouth that we have sinned against you. And we plead for your divine mercy, that merciful God have mercy upon our soul. Forgive us, wash us, and cleanse us with your blood. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I plead for your mercy, that Heavenly Father have mercy. Forgive us, wash us, and cleanse us with your blood. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you and we honor you once again. Father, we thank you for forgiveness of sin. We bless your name for washing us and cleansing us. Father, the Bible says that whenever two or more are gathered in your name, then your presence is already there. We know that you are here already. But Father, as our God, as our master, we welcome you. We invite the Holy Spirit to come and have his way. Master, Holy Spirit, come and take dominion over our heart. That is your temple. Come and use us to glorify your holy name. Father, we commit our mind, our body, our soul, our head, every part of our being unto you. And we plead that, Father, use us. We surrender everything unto you. We are just dust. We are nothing in your sight. Unless, Father, you give us the spirit. Lord, Matthew 10, verse 1, you called and you gave us the spirit. Please anoint us, empower us. And Father, tonight, that was, we are going to stand and preach. Father, your word will be manifested. I pray for our guests that, Father, you also touch him. That any word that you have assigned to him to come and preach tonight, You'll be able to deliver the word soundly and you're able to deliver and win more souls for your kingdom. Heavenly Father, I commit the heart of everybody who is praying with me right now. I commit their soul, their mind into your blood. Father, take dominion over our hearts and take dominion over our mind. And Father, as your word is coming, we will not just be the hearer of the word, but Lord Jesus will go and be the doer of the word. We pray against every power of destruction. We pray against every demonic powers assigned to to attack this program, bad failure, uh, bad networking, anything that will distract the attention of your children. Father, we break and we destroy them in the name of Jesus. Father, we break and destroy them in the name of Jesus. Father, we break and destroy them in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, Holy Spirit, Father, I plead that Father, all those who are shy, remember them. And anybody who's not ashamed of you, Father, I plead that you to not be ashamed of them. That Father, as your word is coming, we will go and perform the word. That Father, as your word is coming, we will go and honor your word. That Father, at the end, glory and honor be unto your name. Father, I pray that all those sharing, let today be a divine breakthrough for them. Remember them. I pray for anybody who is sick. I pray for anybody who is disturbed. I pray for anybody who, is, who has been attacked by the spirit of anxiety. I pray for your grace and your mercies upon this platform. Now, by your blood, Father, flood this platform with your angels. Let your angels guide us. Let them protect us, as you said in Matthew 91, verse 3. And Father, I pray for your divine direction. Direct us. Every word that will come from my mouth, let it come from you. You have done it several times tonight. Let it be, let, let it be marvelous in your sight. We bless you. We worship you. We thank you, Lord. We honor your holy name. In Jesus' name. I think that Mama Sabiat.
Mama, me me adi wa na adi klani. Me adi ane adi klani. Tuje si ya ya adi uti ni tuje saba owa. Odi ane di yemu ya pa me adi. We still continue praying for you, okay? Yeah, I could see how the power seen you. God bless you. God bless you so much. God bless you. Evangelist, I'm not buying. Evangelist, I see you do. Papa, welcome. Mama Sylvia, please. Can daddy use his number? I don't know whether that is my friend on Facebook. Sometimes that is how it works. When is your friend on Facebook? I think so. I don't know. Some of my mommy cry, my friend. I think she's my friend. You see? I mean, but you if you say, you me a request here, and that the only friend now request is here. Now, me accept it. Then she, then make me request in a bed. I don't sign a year. What's that? I don't know why it's been God bless all those who have joined us. God richly bless you. Full of God, as you are waiting for our guests to join us, I want to prepare your heart. I want you to thank God for what He has done for you. Friday by this time, come on, come here. Ababa will be at to find free paga. We will be at to find free Hallelujah. People of God, many died this week. Even today, a lot, a lot of people couldn't wake up from their their bed. So if you are here, I want you to join me, and let's thank God, our Father. We appreciate you. Can we tell God our Lord, Lord we, we are grateful? Mama Sylvia Kessie, please, can you, can yourself or your husband, can you send me a friend request? So that I will just add you to my friends. I, I don't think you are my friend. That's why maybe. So. God bless you all. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. So God bless you all for joining us. We appreciate you all for joining us. Please thank God, thank God. Please thank God for all what he has done for you. So tonight, a sister was talking to me. I felt bad for her. As we are waiting for a guest, I want us to pray for just a few minutes. Yes. Sister is having a problem. And I can't tell you. But it's marital problem. Hallelujah. People of God, I want us to pray as we are waiting for our guest. If maybe after 10 minutes they, they couldn't, they, uh, the network did not allow them to join us, then I will, I will start with the, with the preaching. So, people of God, if you are here, I want to tell you that God has sent us this end time to preach the truth that will give you salvation. If you are here because of anything apart from God, I want to tell you that you are at the wrong place. On this platform, we preach the truth and we tell you the, the word that has been sent to us <coughs> to be given to you. Whatever you are, God bless you. Can you thank God? Can you thank Jesus? My soul, my soul. He has become. God bless you, man of God, evangelist. I see you do.
my soul. He has become. God bless you all for joining me. Please, can you join me at this hour? Let's thank God. Okay, okay, okay. God bless you, brother. Champion. God bless you for giving the phone to my brother to join us. God bless you so much. But tell the person that a champion, Joe, tell him. Say, I pray for healing for him. Tell him. May God have mercy upon him and heal him. Hallelujah. People of God, we bless the name of God. We are giving thanks to Jesus. We are giving praise to him. God bless you. My strength. My soul, my soul. We bless the name of Jesus. We thank God Almighty. We bless the name of Almighty God. It is by His grace. It is by Him. Father, we bless you. We honor your holy name. You join me and let's give glory to his name. Please join me and let's thank God for what he has done for us. Wherever you are, join me and let's give praise to the mighty Father. And come on, Melinda. But tonight she's not here. So. If you are here, I want you to join me. I want you to, to join me. God bless you for joining us. Yes. Uh -huh. He has become my servant. The Lord. He is my friend. Oh, sir. <laughs> your, your friend said you wait till we close. Okay. I pray for healing. Let me tell him. Catch him. He, like, Uncle Obenya. So, it, 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 I am not a friend. Why? You know, he's going to, the sickness, you know, is coming through a bear from the manhood. Mm -hmm. Uh, I pray. When I told you, said, I rather said, yes, say, I am but I saw sickness. But now I may not cast a second one. And I mean, maybe I I pray for him that may God, as he's waiting, a radiman who saw it to me in any way, may the power that resurrected Jesus Christ from the dead, may that power heal her, heal him. In the name of Jesus, heal him in Jesus' mighty name. And you might already make us a chimney, a regina, a regina, a regina, da. And pass our bull summer could ye be a washi shed, and ya may man, which I rather chess a wedding could him. A regina will yet to go tell him. A radi, I own a radias what it. Who be an unknown can say yes to me, Tawasi. Or my bow pine and you might rather the mamma say, A bull summer could ye be a washi shaban, the banana yerjuma. So I pray for healing. I pray, sir, may God seal it with his blood. Amen. So we give glory to the Lord Almighty. We thank Jesus. We thank Jesus. Please thank God. Um, Pastor Henry Kessie is here. And by the grace of God, God has given him the chance to join us. We are so grateful and we welcome Papa for coming. Uh, man of God, God Richard bless you so much. That upon all your busy schedules, you know. What Last time, no, Obay and Ajay said, Network is disappointed, but tonight we thank God that finally, finally, He has released. And then, the Namiama Quinana, you are here. We are so thankful and uh, we appreciate your time. Hallelujah. Very yeah. soon, uh, be warming up. Very soon, I'll give you the platform. Very soon, I'll give you the platform to, um, to uh, take over. But I just want to tell anybody who is here that it is very that it is very important 
for every child of God to thank God is a necessity. It is a commandment. Hallelujah. You must thank God in all situations. I'll read something from um, Revelation chapter 22, verse 20. The Bible says that he who testifies to these things, surely I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus, the grace of the Lord Jesus be with all of us. Amen. This is the last word, last two words of the Bible. Revelation chapter 22, verse 20. Jesus said, You are dim your men in our dance here. No, and Mary Bantam, if you are here, you have not thought of the coming of Christ. I want to remind you, Abraham, I made now. We have a pastor, the assembly neighbor, that Jesus is coming soon. If you are rich, he's coming. If you are poor, he's coming. It doesn't matter what you are feeling now, it will never change anything. Hallelujah, he is coming. So I want to tell all those, all those who are listening to me. Are you ready for the coming of the Lord? The day you die, your Jesus has come. And don't forget that. The day you close your eyes, your Jesus has come. And as we are talking, many will die. Because it's appointed for everybody to die at his own time. That has been scheduled for him. And I want to remind all, all those who are watching me that Jesus is coming back very soon. Soon and very soon. We are going to see the king. God bless you. The Lord bless you all in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. So, so for, God bless you so much for um for coming. Um, and this is our major platform now. Now, if I show now, me and I'm so extra number. The big beer I won't conclude by Fabiano now. What do you Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. amen. Somebody say the loudest. Amen. 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 We bless the Lord so much once again for this moment. And we thank our daddy and our mommy for giving us the opportunity to come to this platform and to share with you what the Lord has put upon our hearts. I believe that tonight we are going to be a blessing Amen. by the grace of the living God. Indeed, Amen. we have been struggling very hard to enter on this platform. Yeah. It's not, it's not, it has not been easy, <laughs> but <laughs> I know and believe that the Lord has just opened the way for us to come so that he wants me and you to study something very, very important. Amen. Amen. I believe we are all here because of heaven. Yes. yes. We are here because of heaven. Yes. Amen. 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 We are here to receive the power and the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ in our lives. Amen. We are here to make sure that our Christian life will work effectively in our lives amen we are here to receive from the almighty god oh, amen. Yes. amen amen before we listen to what the lord has for us please let us say a word of prayer i want you to dedicate your heart before the lord even as it's mm -hmm. about to come just open your mouth and tell the lord father i am here take absolute father, control I am here. of my heart take, take over my heart if this is only heart in me take it away Replace with a fleshy heart, oh Lord, cause me mm -hmm. to walk in your status. Cause me to do your will. Open your mouth. Father, Open your mouth. Open we your are mouth. here because of and you, Father. Touch our mouth, mouth before the Lord. Open your mouth. Tell the Lord. Oh, can take I, over I your heart. Lord, tell the Lord, we wait upon your life. life. Father, we pray that you take dominion over our heart. To take Father, dominion of your heart. Our heart as your word is coming. And Father, we will not be there the year of the word. We will go and meet the door of the word. Open our heart, heaven. Father, take dominion. Father, take dominion. In the name of Jesus, I dedicate my heart before you, we dedicate our heart unto you. We pray by your mercy, by your grace. Oh Lord, I come before you today. In the name of Jesus, take dominion. Take dominion. Take dominion. Take dominion. Take dominion. I submit my heart unto Father, you, O take Lord. Dominion. Take absolute control, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Cause me, cause me, cause me, cause me to mm. do your will. Cause me to walk in your status. In the Amen. mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' mighty, powerful name. 
Amen. 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 Our Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for this moment. Eternal Rock of Ages. Your word is sharper than two edges sword, and it's pierced through the marrows, departing the soul and the spirit. Oh Lord, we know that you are with us. I pray that Father, you touch every heart that I've gathered here. Oh Lord, strengthen us, empower us, encourage us. Oh Lord, Father, as your word is about to come, I place myself under your authority that anything that is not of you, Father, take it away and let your word proceed in order for your children to. Open their eyes and open their ears, O oh Lord, that your word will settle in their heart. Father, we are here to hear from you, O oh Lord. Amen. I pray that, Father, this word will be a, 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 a double-edged sword Amen. that will fight against the schemes, the deception of this word. Amen. Lord divine, confirm your word today and defend your word. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Let all the saints say, Amen. 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 Brethren, we are going to listen to the word of God, but before the word of God will come, I want us to sing a song. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so I want all of us to just <laughs> prepare your throat. <laughs> And then sing with us. Amen. 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 When we walk with, with the, the Lord, Lord in the light of His word, what a glory He says all our days. All we do is good work. He abide with us here for the one who will trust Brother, I say, trust and obey for there, there is no other way bless you today the lord is going to speak to me and you about the the title of this message is going to be beware of deception mm, amen beware of deception, deception. Amen. Amen. amen somebody type it there for me or papa fraud and then they me nana at all, God bless you. In fact, you be to and into my wife. Beware of deception. Hallelujah. Beware Amen. of deception. Amen. 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 Brethren, our Lord Jesus Christ wants us to beware of deception. Mm. And that is why He has commissioned me and you to be closer to His word every day and night. Mm -hmm. He wants us to meditate on his word. Pray for divine understanding and divine you, interpretation mm -hmm. that you will be a son or a daughter who is so, so obedient to the living God without being twisted to and flow to lose your salvation. Amen. So, the Lord wants me and you to be very 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 careful of deception amen. amen amen now we will take our first scripture from the book of matthew chapter 24 
Matthew 24, we are going to read from the verse 1 to 4. Mama, if you are there, please, you can get, get, get the tree language for us, please. The it's book not, of Matthew, yes. chapter 24. So, Mama, back here, Mama said, "We are back here. My answer, my kind." Can you do any more? That's the medium. Oh, thank you. But it, but it after twenty-four verse, I verse one to four, please. Jesus left the the title. Jesus forty foretells destruction of the temple. I'm reading from Matthew chapter twenty-four, verses number one to four. Jesus left the temple and was going away. Mm. When disciples came to a point out to him the buildings of the temple but he mm. asked, he answered there you see all this do you not truly i say to you there will be no there will be not be left here one stone upon another that mm. will not be thrown down hallelujah Amen. he said but he answered there you see all these do you not truly i said to you there will be not be left here one stone upon another that mm. will not be thrown down as he sat on the mount of olives the disciples came to him privately saying tell us when we will see when will these things be and what will be the sign of your coming and the end of the age and he answered there see that no one leads you astray amen hallelujah amen amen amen, amen. amen. brothers and sisters there is one thing i want us to understand in this scripture mm. the bible says jesus christ was communicating with the apostles and the apostles were trying to show off the big auditorium the church the synagogue of Jerusalem that has been built. Amen. 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 The Bible says the apostles wanted to show our Lord Jesus Christ right, how beautiful this building is, hmm. how mighty it is. But the Bible says Jesus Christ listened to this very carefully and told them that a time will come, no stone will be on top of the other. It means that a time will come this building that you see will be destroyed mm. hallelujah amen when a time will come anything that we see here on earth will be destroyed a time will come all the things that we have acquired here on earth we have toyed our lives all the days of our life of, of our youth and acquire we will leave everything behind hallelujah Amen. Amen. So the Bible says the apostles were so eager to understand more about this building that will collapse one day. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. So yeah. if you read the two, the Bible says, and Jesus said to them, Do you not see all these things? As I surely I said to you, not one stone shall be left there upon another. That shall not be thrown down. Hallelujah. Amen. Then as he sat on the Mount of Olives, the apostles came to him privately. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The apostles, the followers of our Lord Jesus Christ, they came to him privately. Do you know why? Because they have heard the thing that was about to come. They have heard that the last days, many things will be destroyed. They have heard about salvation. They have heard about eternal life. They have heard about destruction of the world. The Bible said they came closer to him privately and tried to ask him more about this. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 It is about time that we spend time privately with our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm. It is about time. Then we get closer to him and ask of him. Mm. It is about time that we need to learn something out of the scriptures that we read always. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible said they got closer to the Lord privately. When everyone has, has gone out, when they have all been dispatched, 
the apostles, being conscious of the kingdom of heaven, got closer to the Lord and asked him some questions. Oh. Hallelujah. Amen. Brethren, it is about time you go closer to Jesus Christ. It is about time you to get a, a relationship, a personal relationship with him. Hallelujah. Amen. It is about time that you know more from him. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. They came privately and asked him. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 The Bible says, and what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of this age? Are you seeing how determined this apostles were? Are you seeing how serious they were in the Lord? They wanted to find out the time, the sign that will appear for them to know the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Because they need to prepare themselves. Mm. They need to make sure that their their life will be straightened their crooked life will be straightened they need to know when the lord will come they need to know at least the signs signs and wonders that will come before his coming in order for them to prepare themselves very well amen Darin, are you preparing yourself mm. are you seeking the lord these signs mm. do you recognize these signs that are coming every day and every night mm. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says, our Lord Jesus Christ said to them, take heed that no one deceives you. Mm. Brother, this is a very, very important word. Mm -hmm. Take heed that no one deceives you. Mm. The Lord was communicating with the apostles. Mm. It means that even the apostles should be very careful for deception. Mm. Mm. Are we understanding this? Amen. The apostles should be very conscious of deception. So, if the apostles are going to be de deceived, then what about me and you? Yes. If Peter can be deceived during the last days, mm. if Apostle Paul can be deceived during the last days, then what will become of me and you? I always say that if any Thing happens here on earth. We are not bothered. Mm. Amen. Amen. Let anything happen. We don't care. Because by the time these wonders will happen, by the time these signs will come, we would have not been here. Mm. But there is one thing that is for sure that we can be deceived. Mm. Brother, there are so many Christians that are being deceived. Mm. So many unbelievers are being deceived. Mm. Many have been deceived that Jesus Christ cannot even save. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Many have been deceived that the other doctrines can save. Hey, Jesus. The other religions can save. Mm. So they are so eager, killing themselves for the things that cannot give them life. Brethren, the Lord won't be able to know that this last day, deceptions are all over the place. Deceptions are all over. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Are we understanding this? Mm -hmm. Yes. This is what the Lord is wanting me and you to know today. So that we will be very determined to work our salvation with fear and trembling. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Deception. Brothers and sisters, anyone can be deceived. Yes. Anyone. Pastors can be deceived. Mm -hmm. Prophets can be deceived. Mm -hmm. Apostles can be deceived. Mm -hmm. Anybody can be deceived. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. The rich Amen. man can be deceived. The poor man can be deceived. Hey. That is why the Lord wants me to be very, very careful on this journey. Hmm. I pray the Lord to open our understanding. Amen. I pray the Lord to grant us divine understanding of this message. Amen. And divine Amen. interpretation so that we will take this message very seriously. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Amen. Be taking of hmm. deception. 
take heed mm. of deception. I mm. want this, this word to be pounded in your heart, mm. ringing a bell in your ears. Take heed. Take mm. heed. Glory be to our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Who can battle with the Lord? Who can, Who can battle, battle with, the Lord? with the Lord? Who, Who can, can battle, battle with the Lord? I say, I say, I say, I say, Who can battle with the Lord? Who can Who can battle with the Lord? Who can I say, I see no I say, who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle with the Lord? And who can battle with the Lord? I say, no And I say, no I say, no and I say no body. Body. I say no body. And I say no body. Body. I say no nobody. I say no nobody. I say no nobody. Amen. Amen. All day. Sempana Isaya Gazafo Paul also spoke about this 
same deception mm. to his son Timothy. Mm. Now, go with me to the book of 2 Timothy chapter 2. 2 Timothy chapter 2, we are reading from the verse 1 and 2. 2 Timothy chapter 2, 1 and 2, please. Okay. Okay. What's Second the... Timothy verse number two, chapter two, one and two. Say, you then, <laughs> my child, be strengthened by the grace that is in Christ Jesus, and what you have heard from me in the presence of many witnesses, and trust to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you getting it now? Mm. The Bible says, you therefore, my son, mm. you therefore, this is a message from Apostle Paul to Timothy. Mm. And this message is being extended to me and you today. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Warning was given to him about the good news that he has received. Mm. Warning was given to him. Mm. The Bible says, you therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that okay. is in Christ Jesus. Mm. And the things that you have heard mm. from me and among many witnesses, mm. commit this to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. Hallelujah. Amen. These messages that I've been telling you, mm. this preaching that is being given to you, mm. these doctrines that you are being taught mm. make sure you give this message to faithful men amen hallelujah amen. mark that way faithful if you become unfaithful how are you going to deliver the rightful message to the people mm. make sure this message will be handed over to faithful people mm. Mm. Because the Lord doesn't want his message to be diverted. The, the Lord wants his message to stay as it is. Mm. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. So this is a warning to Timothy from the Apostle Paul. Take this message I've been given to you. And the other messages that you have heard from the other apostles. Mm. Make sure that you did Deliver this message to faithful men Amen. who can teach others also. It means that faithful men who will speak the truthful message of the living God, mm. who will teach the throne of God exactly what they have received. Yes. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Without doing this, the word of God will be deception. Mm. And that is why there are deception all over. Mm. Christianity has been divided into so many pieces because of deception. And Jesus Christ told the apostles clearly and plainly that beware because the last days will bring forth deception. Mm. Mm. The last days will give birth to deception. And anyone who will be deceived will surely perish. Brethren, if heavens come down, Mm. And the earth goes to heaven. I don't care. Hello? Hi. Hi. If the sun will change its position from the original position that it was now, I don't care. Because that can never affect my salvation. Yes. Mm. Man. But there is something that will temper with my salvation. It is deception. Baby, deception is so, so serious. In this hmm. world, hmm. and that is why the Lord wants me and you to understand and have a relationship, a personal relationship with Him. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is this time that we are in now. So many things will gradually change. Hmm. Many things will change. Many things will change. A time will come we will not even be able to meet here and preach again. That is true. A time will come. A time will come. Everyone will know Christ for him or herself. Yes. A time will come. It is going to be you and your family alone. Mm. A time will come. Anything that you have been taught is that that you need to use to play your Christian life. Mm, mm. That time will surely 
come. We will soon go back to the days that the apostles meet in rooms. The apostles meet underground to study the word of God. Mm. That time will come. Oh. It is not today or tomorrow, but it will surely come because every word in the scriptures are prophetic words of the living God. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. But if I and you are not able to stand and overcome deception, how are we going to enter into that kingdom of heaven? We can't. Brother, we will sit here. We will listen to the messages. We will, we, will, we will receive the glory of God and the power in it. We will see everything that the Lord wants to give to us. They are all packages that the Lord will give to us. But at the end, we might lose it. Mercy, Lord. Brethren, this is the time. Beware of deception. Amen. The Bible says, Apostle, Paul told Timothy, this word that I'm giving to you, make sure that you give it to faithful men who can also teach others so. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Is the Lord communicating to me and you tonight? Oh, yes. Now, let us look at other scripture very quickly in the book of Acts. The book of Acts chapter 20. We are going to read from the verse 28 all the way to 30. The book of Acts, chapter 20, 28 to 30. The book of Acts, chapter 20, verse 28 to 30. Let's listen to the word of God. It says, pay careful attention to yourselves. And to all the flock in which the Holy Spirit has made you overseas to care for the church of God, which he obtained with his own blood. Amen. Amen. 29. He mm -hmm. said, I know that after my departure, fierce wolves will come in among you, not sparing the flock. And from among your own selves will arise men speaking twisted things to draw away the disciples after them. Therefore, be alert remember that for three years i did not see night or day to admonish everyone yes amen hallelujah now now listen to this very carefully listen to this very very carefully this message is being given to the church this message is given to the leaders to be given to the church hmm. hallelujah Amen. Amen. To be given to the church of Christ hmm. that Jesus Christ died for. Hmm. Amen. 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 He says, Therefore, take heed to yourselves and to all the flock. Leaders, take heed to yourselves. Hallelujah. Amen. And you can follow one shepherd who's so here. Because Satan can also deceive us. Mm -hmm. Take heed to yourself as a leader. Mm. Because if we fall, the church of God will also fall. Mm. That is true. Thank Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Take heed to yourself as leaders. And also to all the flock, mm. to all the children of God. So, number one, we are being careful about ourselves as leaders. Mm -hmm. As people that the Lord has entrusted his children in our hands. We are holding people's blood. Amen? Amen. Amen. It does not matter how, how many they, they are. If they are even one, even if, if it is your wife and your children, <laughs> their bloods are accountable by you. Yes. Amen. 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 So take it to yourself that you yourself will not be diverted. You yourself will not be deceived. Mm. Take heed to yourself. Amen. 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 So after taking it to yourself, you also take it to who? To the church. To the church. Hallelujah. Amen. You should stand as a watchman. You should stand as a leader. To, to guide the church 
to make sure the church is being fed good food mm. hallelujah amen. amen protect them but let me oh, but, but, tell you something mm -hmm. if the lord makes you a leader mm. amen. amen amen if the lord makes you a leader the lord has placed all those who listen to you under your care mm -hmm. Mm. hallelujah amen. amen those that are the children of god he brings all of them to the leader to lead them to green pastures mm. and to make sure that at the end they receive eternal life mm. glory be to jesus hallelujah so brethren as a matter of fact leaders has a very very important role to play very important leaders Baba, Amen. I wonder. I wonder to cite some of the examples that are deceiving many people. Some Let's of go, them, yes. Some of the churches are saying that the moment you enter my church, you are already in heaven. Oh. The fact that Jesus. you have entered this church, oh. many of you have been convinced that my church. The pastor is saying that the fact that so, but some of them they do whatever they want. They 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 don't. They they, they have not repented. They are doing things that goes against the church. Because mm. the pastor have told them that the fact that you are in yeah. my closet alpha ministry, you are going to heaven. Like yeah, the mercy. fact that you are in any church, you are going to a particular church because maybe mm. I, I, I have I have a covenant with the Lord mm. that everybody, no mm. matter whether the person is a sinner or whether the person is living righteously, the fact that the person has become my member is going to heaven. Mm. And it's one of the mm. things that are being deceived. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you, man of God. God bless you. And you know what? I've even heard that some leaders have been have started even taking people from hell. <laughs> yes. Yes, that one. That one too is it is you know when some <laughs> other things uh when you check the scripture, you will not see that it is in the scripture anywhere that when you die, <laughs> and when is the essence of Jesus dying for us, what is this essence of his warning that if you don't sin if, if you don't stop sinning the way this is dead then what why did jesus came to die for us on this earth because if after our death we will be taken away from hell then why why is the need for us to worship god because it is not according to the scripture it is not in the scripture oh, hallelujah no. and then i can who cry because and i knew what is the essence of the death of jesus christ because if i am going to church i know that my church is there if i can kill the moment the fact that i am in this church <laughs> or the fact that, that my pastor can go to heaven hell and bring me there then what shall i do? let me do whatever i want mm. hallelujah and not, but the fact is that not everybody and have the knowledge of the word that's why the bible said lack of knowledge so many people are lacking this knowledge maybe god has a covenant with the leader that for you maybe i have a word i'm coming to take you because no matter whatever you do for you maybe that is mm. that but maybe to the extent of everybody and those things, may God have mercy upon everybody. Oh, evangelist, uh, evangelist, uh, uh, my brother, Papa, God bless you, God bless you, God bless, God bless you. you, uh, brother. So, Pastor Eric, also to God, richly bless you, Mama Linda, God bless you, people of God, God richly bless you all. Please share the link, let's invite others, Papa. Let's look at some of the deceptions mm. that are going mm. around mm. so that if we are here, mm. if we are here, you know that. They are deceiving you. One of the one of the things that some of them they will tell you, come and let me protect you. So mm. they will do some direction for you. Hallelujah. Mm. And they will oh, say that let me protect you. But I mean by man will be on And you see many people in abroad. Some of your friends, you should tell them, maybe you are repented by this word is not for you alone, it's for others. Mm. That's why we are saying share. Mm. So as you share and you see the word. So as you share and you see the word. Maybe I remember not quite a fast word. Tia, you know, I said, "Well, we said no." The people are deceiving me because now people are saying that. But I'm in for the end tone. I'm in for the end tone. No witch can attack you. Nothing can help you. And they are using that to win souls. If you are here, I want to tell you, it is not acceptable. Papa, you know, some of the church, they know, say, they they start practicing that we are not going to allow people to wear ladies to wear trousers, but when they see that when they saw that their members are tripping out they decided that no 
if we don't find another way, take care, the, the new churches will take our members mm. because you know <laughs> Satan also has taken dominion over the world and he's deceiving many ladies. So mm. you see some beautiful ladies, then they will say, Why are you not coming? Papa, be my dressing. They say, oh, say, so that was like people were saying, They say, Let's go for a meeting, and then they decided that, bam, this is what this is nothing. God will mm. never use this against us because if you do that, we we'll never get members. Mm. It is also a deception. We mm. must be very careful. Hallelujah. Mm. Many people are having mm. different teachings, but I'm telling you, what is written is written. Mm. Unless you don't have a personal relationship with God, mm. God bless you. So, Papa, if you have any, if Amen. you are watching me, you also have any of the deception words that are going around that mm. people are being deceived. Please, mm. you can just type it and mm. let's all read it and, and, and share. Some of Amen. them, uh, some worries. of them, <laughs> Papa, it's a lot. Mm. <laughs> a lot, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God bless you so much. Man of God, God bless you. You see, God bless you. This is, you see, it's so important that we, we know this as well of God. Mm, mm. And the problem is also so many of us that have been born again or that have come to know the Lord, we also are having the same problem because people are lying to us and to take us back again. Yeah. Mm. But, but, let, let me read give us money he said that he, he, he typed galatians chapter 1 verse 7 to 9 okay. the bible says that not that there is another one but there are some who trouble you and want to distort the gospel of christ mm. amen, amen. Uh, but even if we are if we or an angel from heaven should preach to you a gospel contrary to the one we preach to you, let them be a case. Hey, everybody, who am I? Everybody, who am I? May God have mercy for mm. all of us. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Jesus. So, oh, if you are here, some of the deception, if you know, and in Ghana, there is too mm. many. It's, it's too, so, mm. some people are called themselves angels. They have become angels in the Lord. Hallelujah. There's no mm. where, no, none of the apostles became an angel. Mm. So, if you go to a church, your pastor is an angel. May God mm. have mercy mm. upon all of us. Amen. There's, Amen. No, there's no apostle or a disciple of God who even walked with Jesus is called an angel. Mm. Mm. Never. There's no, there's no. Oh. So if your pastor is telling you that he's an angel, he can fly and you are still happy, and you must be very vigilant. Hallelujah. Mm. Amen. And uh, glory sister, be to Jesus. Amen. Amen. Daddy, Mama, I, our sister Akosia, the person, some says, Yamasumu, Akumemu, not the physical appearance. So, one of the deceptions is that you can worship God only in your heart. Your physical, the, your physical, physical appearance does not matter. But it's a lie. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Please, if you know some of the deceptions, you can tell us and then we'll, we'll read them. Hallelujah. <laughs> Some of them are also saying that the whole world, their church is the only church that is accepted by God. It is never true. Then what is the essence? What is the essence of God creating different? So you mean that everybody in America is going to hell? <laughs> because, and we have people who, not everybody will go there because we have people who have decided to follow God. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. God bless you, uh, Papa Benjamin. God bless you. Uh, also, <laughs> Benjamin. Asifi. God bless you. Say so praise the Lord. Many of them do your do have the heart is full of evil. Hallelujah. Mm. So people of God, let me tell you, some people are being deceived. They are deceiving us. Mm. You must be vigilant. Mm -hmm. Papa, some church in Ghana you have a lot of members. Mm. They are saying when you die, there's no heaven, there's no hell. Mm. And I asked one of the church members, I said, Ah, where did this your pastor? Where did he got this this thing from? Is it in the Bible? We said, No. He said he had a personal encounter with the Lord. And the Lord told him that there's no heaven, there's no hell. There's only recantation. But what he believed in, that he believed in paradise. Look at what. He has confused them. He said he believed in paradise because they paradise is the Bible. He watched them very well. <laughs> oh, Praise be the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. You see, the Lord wants us to know all these things. Uh -huh. Glory to Jesus. So let's hallelujah. The 29, the Bible says, in the book of Acts 20, we are on the 29. For yeah. I know this, that after my departure, seven wolves will come in mm. among you, mm. not sparing the flock. Child. That is what 
the Lord is leading us to say here now. After my departure, some wolves will come. It means that some people will enter into Christianity. Mm. Some people will enter into the work of God. Mm. They will enter yes. and they will scatter the throne of God without sparing none of them. Hallelujah. So mm. in the Bible, Amen. it is saying they will not spare you. They will not spare you. It means they will not allow anyone to go free. Mm. They will make sure that all of us will perish. Yes. And that is why the Lord is telling me and you to be vigilant and to take heed for these deceptions. Now the 30 says, and also among yourselves, men will rise up, speaking perverse things, to draw away the disciples after themselves. Mm, mm. Men will also rise up in their church. They will mm. rise. I say whether you are tears here, whether you are poor or so for many, poor for nothing. I am God. Yeah, no, no, we are gonna go. Amen. No. Amen. They will rise. <laughs> Hallelujah. And they will Amen. take. They, 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 they will. They will take them out, away. Now listen to the serious thing here. The thirty one. The Lord says, "Therefore, watch and remember that for three years I did not." See See to warn everyone night and day with tears. Three good years. The apostle was still warning people about this night and day with tears. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. This message was preached three continuous years. He was still warning them be vigilant, be very careful, be very careful. With tears, he was warning them. Why? Because their souls are in danger. Mm. Now, if you see a lot of things that are happening, many of them, a man of God has mentioned many of them, and other person has mentioned many of them, but a lot are happening. A lot of things are going on. Man has now become like an angel or a spirit or a, 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 a a different creature altogether. <laughs> so they say, Nippa Dani, Nippa Dani, hum, hum. We have become like a different creature that the people worship. Now they worship man. They don't even worship God. Yeah, Papa, 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 no, yeah. Now people worship, they, they have inducted them in a way that they fear their pastor than God. Than God. Papa, as I'm past. here, as I'm here, I fear God. I am living for God. Mm. I have a personal relationship with God. So how can somebody tell me that unless he become my leader, or unless that person, unless I attend his church mm. before I can go to heaven? And why the Bible did not mm. mention his name? That unless you go to this particular church before you go to heaven. Mm. And he's saying that only his church is the only church that has been ordained by God. Then why are God calling us? Me, when I, I don't come and preach, I'll get my warning. I'll mm. give you your word. Go and do. Hallelujah. Mm. So does it mean that I, I don't get it? I don't believe people of God. Don't allow anybody to deceive you. Praise mm. God. Amen. Don't allow anybody to deceive no. you. Because no. now, some of the church pastors, they are making themselves like God. That you rather fear them. Mm. You fear them even than your master. And if you are here, you fear your pastor, God than your pastor. You know where you are coming yeah. from. Mm. Because, Mama, some of them listen to their pastors than the word of God. When oh, the word yes. of God says that, mm. that when you are a woman, you are praying, you must wear your work over. The mm. pastor will say, this does not matter. No, say that, no, Papa, no. you are right. Mm. Hey, Papa, I say, we keep you no mama. Yeah, Papa, me cry. Now, me to me more life. Me now go for a me. Mo, ya me shi now. Ah, ya na me wat na. Hey, who cover on time? Your mama hair is your covering. So you don't need any hair cover. Jesus Christ. Mama, I, Papa, somebody just types and he said, I'm a victim. I'm a victim to the issues of deception. I was told by my pastor that I should dress like how other people dress. And it? that I can use wig and other attachment through your teachings. And that of my sister, I have stopped worshipping with them. Amen. God Amen. bless you. Amen. God bless you. Some of them, they tell you, hey, you, you miss a lifetime if you don't, if you don't do makeups. If you don't 
if you don't dress up, I, I, yesterday I went out with my wife who were at a place and I saw our Muslim system. And she, she's not a black, she's not black, she's a white. The way she has covered herself, Papa. Mm -hmm. Ah, now me see, ah, now Christopher, yes, sorry, I see what I'm doing. But yeah, I see a woman, you know. Our dressing does also no show, mm -hmm. it does not show us a Yefrin and Kopo. Like, like we are worshiping God. But when you see the address in Mana Kovom, so why have they covered themselves? Well. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. But yeah, Christopher, when we see such a person, it's you. Nasa Christo ni ya, it's you in the name of Krasini. But what you have to me, some of your family members can have a meeting about you concerning you that why, why, why did you yes, do that? Yes, sir. And the old boy that one now said. What are you sorry? I said, 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 Yes, we say for Akuba ni na adome. Now what you do? Yes, we say no subani awi ani say. Yes, we say. Eh, eh, you know, Emran say me kesi apa ni say domi ready with your mind, your soul, your heart. I just say, for teach them, for me, for me teach them. For me teach them. Uh huh. Uh huh. And for the teacher, we want any person. Yes, we name sir. We dem mu bad abe. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh Jesus. I remember what you said. I have been to a church before, and they always say that their church is the only true church upon surface on this earth. For me, dear, God can come and tell you, say, I have chosen your church as one of my own. But mm. God will never come and tell you, say, mm. say, if everybody has repented, everybody cannot come there. Mm -hmm. no. So God will never mm. tell you, say, Mas was sorry, Kwan, my he said, he says, Ebia, it's one of them. Obeka said, Ebia, was sorry, the Magia Tum said, Eh, I'm sorry, Kesia, I will go now. Ebia, one to me, but the sad Diana saw for the riding with him, Amen. 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 Oh Jesus. Amen. Oh, Jesus. We thank the Lord so much. I believe we are really learning something here today. Yes, yes, yes. We are learning. We are learning it is very very important deception is so Papa, it, some of them will tell you say, so they take money from their members that mm. come and let me do spiritual direction for you mm. so that um you'll be you, nobody can do anything for mm. you before your lies i have a video a lady is in zimbabwe one of the african countries she was pregnant the pastor slept with her because she has been deceived. Mm. The pastor said, said be, 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 be. So she, she was afraid that if mm. my nah, if a be, to be, a be to me. Mm. So the pastor I said, the pastor came. Let him know what And then we to the video. So the 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 the, the, the uh, and we are by so much unbearable. Pastors, let's all be vigilant. Hallelujah. Let's all be vigilant. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Okay. Let us let us read another scripture from the book of Matthew chapter 13. Let us read Matthew chapter 13. We are going to read from the verse 24. All the way to 30. Yes, but the other one is giving us that Jesus said that whenever two or more three are gathered in my name, I'm there. So Mm. Why do you believe that God, the same God, will change His mind and say, "No, when all the churches that are remaining are fake, your own is only good." No, there are mm. some that are doing things that are not that is against the will of it. Is a fact that we have church that are not from God. Yes. But you can't just say the whole church. You are your church is the only church no that anybody who will enter your church, ah, he will go into heaven, mm. whether he's sinner or not. Papa, I was in chapter. I mean, you know, we can say you can say twenty-four. 13, 20, Matthew 13. 24, 24 to 30. Tina, oh, we become over so bit me, I can't wait to make a brand new year. Now, we are not so at at what so Matthew 13. Yo, Papa, a radisha, but what to make a yeah, man, you're talking about your papa, a radisha, topic, and a topic, and I know what they now deception, no, so back on so dear money. Say as our bar would to me and now I ya ya sa and my wukunu and no and I just said what dana wet ye and I'm mamma my one now so I want empasso as a yet when you know I saw it then send ye or bar 
ube ube use ye pono na omu chilo use ye de yo papa ni nina wo asore de em si wedi mu nina ano ay ye deception pa papa na abeda social media so na wa chile se ni yaka 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 na wa chile se Video no miti mi uwe ni mwaka me ya star ni chile mwaka me ya star ni chile mwaka me ya star ni chile mwaka me ya star and the papa already oh we are more papa oh we are more but deception or adoso adoso matthew chapter 13 verses number 24 let's get over the parable of the wish he put another parable before them saying the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a man who sowed good seed in the field but while the men were sleeping his enemy came and sowed wish among the wish they went away so when the plant came up and bore again bore grain then the witness appeared also and the servant of the master of the lord of the house came and said to him master did you not sow good seed in your field how then does it have wish he said to them an enemy has come has done this so the servant said to him then do you want us to go and gather them but he said no at least in gathering the wheat, you root up the wheat along with them. Let both grow whether after the harvest and and at harvest time. I will tell the reaper, gather the wheat first and bind them in bundles to be burned. But gather the wheat in your barn. Hallelujah. Amen. Man of God, you know that a lot of agents has been planted in churches. Mm. Yes. Mm. A lot of agents, agents of the evil one, has been planted in churches just to come and destroy. Mm. Mm. And the Lord wants me and you also to be eye opening of all these things. They will come in, pretend as they are, as they are also seeking the Lord, and they mm. can create confusion in churches. Mm. This is what is going on nowadays, especially in this ministry that the Lord has given to us. Mm. A lot. So Jesus Christ is telling this parable. And he says, a sower went out to sow a seed. Mm -hmm. The sower finished sowing this seed and came back home. And, and at night, when everybody was asleep, the enemy also went to the same field mm. and so dies. Amen. 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 At Amen. night, when the sower went home, comfortably sleeping in, in on, on his bed, the enemy went into the field where the wheat has been planted, where the good seed has been planted. He went there mm. and also planted. Or started planting dyes among the wheat. Brethren, there are so many people that Satan has sent into his min into the ministry of the Lord, mm. just to come and destroy, just to come and deceive. Amen. 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 And the Lord wants us to be very, very careful because. If we will not go into the world, the world will come to us. Oh, yes. Say, yeah, yeah, go, we are saying, we are saying, bye Because if you look at yourself and the way you have scheduled your Christian life, there are some places you will not go. Yes. So if you will not go, how are they going to trap you? They have to come to you. Unless me. somebody comes to you. <laughs> They have to change where you are. Amen. And to be honest, so we are businessmen. If you are a business tycoon, and somebody wants to dupe you, that person also have to tend to be a business tycoon. Mm-hmm. But I have that here, so that the person can deceive you very well. So when the person comes and starts speaking, you start talking about business, and because you are also a businessman, then let's flow. By the time you know your money is gone. So the Lord wants us to be very, very extra careful, especially those that are closer to us. I always say that I'm a kind of 
That's why I don't go anywhere. I don't go out in. I don't. I just don't go anywhere unless maybe an important thing that I've been invited. Then I will go and then show my face, do whatever I want to do, and then come back. Even that, I'll be very, very careful. So if something will happen to me, that thing has to come to where I am. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So the people have to be very, very extra careful on this journey. Ah, holiness and righteousness a prayer you a sort of throne. It is very, very, very slippery. And the Lord wants us to be very, very extra careful. Amen. Beware. Take heed. Mm. That no one deceives you. Mm. Somebody might come into your midst, into, into the ministry, just to come and take somebody out. That, is, that was the mission. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm just coming. The target is just a sole person. I want to target that person and take that person out. Mm. Mm. The Lord wants us to be eye open. Vigilant. Very, very vigilant in these last days. So many things are happening. So many ties has been has been sold among the rich. Mm. And there is no way that Jesus Christ is going to take away those ties from the rich. He said, let them grow together. Mm. Let them grow together. How are we going to grow with the ties? Mm -hmm. You that wants to play your Christian life very, very well to go to heaven. How are you going to grow with someone who has been sent to deceive or to destroy? But you need to grow with them. And that is why the Lord wants us to be eye-opening. That is why the, the Lord wants us to be strong in him. So that we can overcome all these things that Satan is bringing into our midst. Brethren, the word of God has come to us. Amen. Deception can come from anywhere. Yes. yes. It can come from anywhere. Mm. Anywhere. Un unexpected, it can come to you. How are you going to figure it out and run Man away God, your Please excuse me. All those mm. watching me on TikTok, we are we are live on Facebook as well. So if you are joining me on TikTok, God bless you. Please power tap on the link and share. Power tap on the screen and share to bless someone. Um, so we had a guest, um, God servant, Pastor Henry Kessie, a great man of God. And God is using us to teach us about the deception of the end time. So we are learning a lot tonight. If you just join us, um, God bless you for joining me. And please don't rush in living here. Just power tap on the screen and share. And you, your life will never be the same. Papa, do you know that some of the churches, their deception is that, that I have the video. They go to church naked. So whenever hey. they enter the, the church, the pastor will be naked, the members and everybody will be Wait naked. You know, for them. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So that is also the ability. Wow. So they go to church naked without worrying anything. Hallelujah. Wow. Yes. Jesus Christ. Brethren, brethren, this is this is a, a, a very very serious question to all of us. How are we going to get out of all these things? How are we going to stand strong? How are we going to fight it to the end? How are we going to do that? Look at the way women are dressing out there, exposing their sensitive parts out there. I took prophecy in Tibia. How are we going to live with these people? Unless we stand strong and fill with the Holy Spirit and be determined with all self-control, the Lord is going to help all of us. Amen. 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 The Lord said, let, let it grow. Let it all grow together. Let it grow together to the end time. And the Lord Amen. will separate the good ones into his band and put fire in the ones that are ungodly. Wherein until that time, we have to be very, very, very serious on this journey. Mm. And of God, I've seen 
so many things when we started to do the, the, the work of God. I've seen many things. I've heard many things. So many things that are so many abominable things. So many people that Satan is taking them back. A lot of them. So many people that Satan is dragging them back. So many people that are very seriously deceiving those who are who are dedicated to, 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 to live for Christ. Many have been deceived to take back. Amen. Brethren, it is about time that we stand strong and fight this fight. Allow the Holy Spirit to lead us, to teach us, and to equip us so that we can finish this race <laughs> this is in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Some pastors you should not to pray for them. Yes! <laughs> How are you going to finish the race? Amen! Amen! Amen. Some of us are just on the, on, the, on, on the track, trying to track some people down. That is all that somebody is there to do. And the Lord wants us to be very, very vigilant. May the Lord bless you. Continue to empower you. Open your eyes to see. Open your ears to hear. May you have the relationship, personal relationship with our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. May nothing take you back. Amen. May you have got the truth. Hold it very tight. Amen. For this last day, deceptions has gone to the limit that this world is facing into doom. So, brothers and sisters, I will encourage you tonight. Stand where you are. Fight to the end. Allow yourself to be taken over by the Holy Spirit. Let the power of God lead you always. Amen. And let his will be in your life. Amen. And your life will never be the same. Amen. You will continue to excel in the house of God Amen. and to stand strong in the mighty, powerful name of Jesus. Amen. 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 God bless all of you. Papa, God bless you. God richly bless you. Bless the you. Lord bless you. People of God, the word of God has come to us. Many of us, we are being deceived. Mm. The, the people we believe in them, some of them, are not working for God. Yes, it did not start now. It has been starting since the days of Jesus Christ. And Jesus warned us. The apostles also warned us. I want to ask you, have you ever prayed about your church? Mm. Now the church have deceived their, their members. Have, yes. you, have you ever prayed about your pastor? Hallelujah. Amen. Many Papa of you, some of them, they will come. I see a bit of 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 a bit Se me me mane bomb the dog in here the idea or buy a rich me kunu pe or so for na e bi na no a or si e and e me cry me also for me here deliverance na cho so ye we satins dani di dani di ni kunu no ka kire oba ni se enye ti mo mo nye no enti sa so fo e enti a kire be e na o di ma me bi enya di amount serious mama e wu serious so people of god one fact of the matter is that the fact that you don't know your pastor is from God or your church is not the church of God and you are being there, it will never save you. That is why the Bible says that for lack of knowledge, my people perish. perish. Many of you will perish at the on and it is not it is on this set. I don't want your connection. More video speak under. I've done some. But connection, man. Many texts are fake. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. So I, I want to ask anybody here: Have you ever prayed about your church? Some mm. of them they know that my pastor is not from God, but because he can tell me something, he's still with them. Some of them their pastor have altars and they have seen it, but they are still with them. Some of them are ignorant. That is why as a child of God, you don't always pray for yourself; you pray for others. Mm. Tonight, I want us to use this little time to pray that God, if there's any church that we attend, that's not of you. If there's any man of God, and one fact is that if the pastor is not from God, the spirit that you are that he is seven, 
you are automatically also serving the same spirit. Yes. If the church you are telling is not from God, you think that you have been talking to God, but it's not God, it's Satan. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. May God have mercy on us. Mm. I've been telling you always that when you read Romans chapter 16, verse 6, Romans chapter 6, verse 16, it tells us something about that. That whoever you listen to, whether the person is taking you to heaven or whether the person is taking you to hell, whatever you listen to, you become a slave to that thing. So some of you have become slave to church, satanic church. Some men of God are courted pastors. For them, they use sword. Hallelujah. There's no way. Jesus said we should use sword. Hallelujah. They use sword. Some of them, they will back off you. Praise the Lord. On Romans chapter yeah. 6, verse 16, the Bible says that, do you not know that if you present yourself to any one as an obedient slave you know whenever you go to church you present yourself to the church as an obedient slave as an obedient so that want to know god right and the bible is telling you that as you represent yourself to that church listen to what happened he says that i'm maybe if i'm confused i'm reading from roman chapter 6 the verse number 16 the bible says that do you not know that if you present yourself to anyone as obedient slave you are a slave of whom who he obey so that the spirit that your church is obeying or the authority if that pastor is not from god you are also his his, his head is not from god hallelujah and if yeah. the pastor is from god you also be protected by god hallelujah listen he yeah. said that anyone as obedient slave you are slave of the one whom you obey either of sin so if the person you obey is of sin or we which leads to death or of, of obedience, which leads to righteousness. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. But thanks to be to God that you who were once slaves of sin have become obedient. People of God, maybe you don't understand. The Bible is saying that you become a slave to the person you're listening to. So as you are listening to me, if I'm not from God, you have become a slave. And if I'm leading to you to a uh, 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 sin, you are going to hell fire. That is death. That's why he said that sin that leads to death. And if I'm leading you to the righteous, right, righteous way, I am leading you to the righteous way. Hallelujah. So many of us, we are our, our eyes have been blessed. Some of them said, Oh, he's my father. Some of them say, Oh, this one of God has helped me. But he knows that his doctrine are not from God. Some of them they will sell you oil. Some of them they will sell you oil. Some of them they will sell you oil. Some of them they will sell you a Some of them they will tell you in the night go and stand at the four junction and do spiritual direction many of them are now from god i want to tell you any man of god will tell you go and stand uh, uh, at the four junction pour oil put quench pray very well before you go if you do that if you are making a covenant with the devil you don't know some of you the reason why you are stopping that direction you made unless god delivers you some of them they will tell you in the, at 12 midnight go to your restroom when you go there go naked take oil and cry to god when you when a pastor tell you that go naked and cry to god god will not listen to you when when adam and eve when they were naked god never spoke to them he rather gave them a garment to wear before he started talking to them hallelujah so god hate nakedness some man of god will come and give you direction say your pastor will not tell you meanwhile he's initiating you many of you have been initiated you are not you are not aware that you have been initiated may god have mercy on you deceptions are going around people of god we must be vigilant in this end time man of god i don't know whether you have anything to say or you want to leave or we want us to pray god bless you daddy okay so um isn't that is a little bit busy so let me leave him yeah okay 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 so if you are listening to me and if you are watching me i am here to let you know that never think that every church built by mine every church built by and some of some of you the deception is that oh those who are going to church they are all going to hell, hell fire and you must go to kingdom church before you go to heaven i want to tell you some of this deception that there's no heaven there's no hell they don't read their bible i don't know who you are trusting i don't know whether you believe in god or you believe in man hallelujah i don't know who are, who have been leading you let me tell you whether your pastor is god or whether your pastor is who nothing will go against the word of god god says that we should be careful 
and he gave us a parable about the rich man and Lazarus. And at the end, he told us that there is a place that when we die, we'll go. He said, the kingdom of God is like that. People of God, I want to tell you, some of you, your pastors have been telling you, whenever you do good for anybody, take receipts. Hallelujah. Some of you, they have been, they have been ushering, they have been giving you a mind that whenever you hear, you see somebody. <laughs> Uh, also, I say, Sam says, No washing of feet, no heaven. Wow, I've not heard it. I've not heard it. Okay, so people of God, tonight the word that came is that deception of the end time. Some churches are deceiving some church members. I don't know the church to attend it. Me, personally, and God has shown me some churches that are not from Him. I know my wife has also had visions, and I know you also watching me have had visions. Please. Some bishops may be right, some bishops may be, may be wrong. So whenever you receive a bishop, pray about it and get the confirmation. And then if, if God shows you something concerning that, make sure you do, you, you, you do that. Well, let me tell you one thing about the deception of the end time. Me, I had a revelation before coming to the work, before doing the work of God. I saw myself at a very big place. It was a big church. I've, I've shared it on my platform several times. But maybe somebody's watching me for the first time. Let me tell you, recently, this is this year i had a revelation about one man of god in ghana he's very popular hallelujah very, very popular hallelujah the one in ghana one he has a television station he has a very big station there very big television station there and then in the, i was like in the house and then i've sent my, one of my junior brother he's a pastor so i was in my house and i said ah very good my brother is working with this man so my brother will be able to explain because I've teach him about, about the things of God, most of the things. like So he knows about the right holiness of God. So I said he would teach this man about what I've been saying. And in that church, there was a, there's another man of God who also does not believe in holiness. And he was part of that. He was part of those people in the car. So they were like, they were traveling. So I wanted to go call him. And then I said, oh, then I remember that there was there's a great man of God that I said, yeah, we own a TV station. He's in a car. And I said to myself, oh, then no worry. If my brother is there, they, this man is, is, is even there. And the boys are here that my son, that man is not, he, he, he's a carnal man. He's not a spiritual man of God. That pastor is a carnal man. So that pastor, he does not believe in Holy Spirit. He talk against Holy Spirit. He does not believe in it. But he has followers because he can preach. People of God, if you are attending such a church and God did not open your eyes, you would think that you have you have you have had a good church. But I'm telling you, you are on your way to hellfire because that's what God has told me. I'm not here to mention names, but I'm telling you. So some of the churches are not good. Recently, I also had an encounter. I saw a man. He's, there's a man of God to his own TV station. I think now he's leading in Ghana. He's one of them. I saw. The spirit God revealed it to me the spirit that he is using. So the spirit came to me and he said, I want you to work for me. And I said, Who are you? Then he, 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 he did this. Then he showed me the man. He said, Have you seen this man? He said, I said, Yes. He said, This man is working for me. I'll give you more than followers than him. He's he not followers, he said a church. It wasn't a follower. I said, I'll give you members 10,000 times what I've given to you if you work for me. I told him I'm not ready to work for anybody because i did not call myself i was called by god hallelujah he ordained me me i can't remember when i completed my university days my mom was forcing me that i must be a pastor i told me i can't be a pastor i'm a sinner i'm having a girlfriend i cannot be a pastor then i've not married i told her that until god calls me i will never do his work and until he calls me listen to me there's one revelation God gave to me, and many of you, you are having the same thing. I saw myself at one of the big churches in Ghana, and then that church, I've never been to there before, but God was telling me something. I've never been to that church before. It was like a big church. I know the pastor. So I saw myself, and everybody was there. We all gathered at one place, and we saw the pastor coming from afar, and everybody was saying, Papa is coming, Papa is coming. So they were all sitting down, and the place was glass. But I decided, okay, let me wet the, the floor. I wet the floor. The floor was like, has become greenish. I don't know the, the actual name for, the English name for that thing. Uh, like what those in the village, when you bath, you see that at the back of your, your bath, you see some green, green. 
a kind of says something I, I forgot about the name it's some green green some dirty green green and then the members were sitting in that that floor they were so proud of the pastor and they was they said they were holding me sit down i saw myself i wearing white white and i saw myself standing they were pulling me to sit i said me to sit in this debt i will never sit here and then so i was everybody was sitting down and then a man came to the podium he came to the platform and this man and this man wanted to uh this man wanted to preach so he started praying for them and when he said i bless you i saw rain raining from heaven and the rain was very black the rain it was dark black you know rain is not black it is white but that rain that was raining on the members was black people of god many of you you have been blinded but i pray that tonight may god open your eyes so that you know the church that you are attending many of you lack of knowledge you know that some of the churches they are the, because of deception god has rejected them as a church they have name they have followers they have members all over but god does not know them i'm telling you i can't remember when i wanted to come to america before that i was in ghana i traveled to togo all because of visa and it was the, the guy was a fake it was a fake connection i thank god that nothing bad happened to me many of you were in ghana they will pay their money that i want to go to police and they would they, you a policeman will come you know be a third party a policeman will come that i know the person who is in charge of this uh uh, this this thing so i will support you he say he's charging 25 million 100 million they will pay and at the long last it will not come on they are fake men of god many of them are fake many churches are fake praise the lord so my dear brother my dear sister whoever is watching me i am here to let you know that it may be the church half name that is why you must have a personal relationship with god that is why i want us to use these five minutes to pray my time is up but i want to use five minutes many people that are closer to me some of them are on my platform we prayed and god revealed their church to them i'm telling you as is a man of god i had a dream and i saw that members where i, where I attended the church all the members have done rasta theory they were they are pastors and elders they are all rasta so that is how filthy in a spiritual realm they are they have become filthy and if you are in their church one says the man of god god in my dream I saw that my church there there was rubbish dump all on the platform and all over the church. So that church is very dirty, and you are there. One also told me that man of God, I had a dream about my church, and I saw a certain demon that was ruling over the church. People of God, many people are going to hellfire. They think that they are going to church. Let me read it. Some of you, you have a notion. For me, I don't care if the pastor is from God or not. Me, what I know is that I am paying my time. I am going to church. You don't know. You don't know. When you read uh, 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 Hosea chapter 4, verse the Bible says that for lack of knowledge, my people perish. And because they have rejected my knowledge, I have also rejected them as my, my, my priest and their children. So if your pastor is rejected, you are also rejected. You don't know. <laughs> you, you don't know. Hallelujah. And this one, you only seek, pray, and seek from God. Hallelujah. You don't need anybody to tell you. He will reveal to you. You are not serving man. You are serving God. So why will God not reveal it to you? Because you have not asked him. And sometimes when they give it to you, you cry. You don't understand it. Let me read Hosea chapter 4 verses. Papa, do you have anything to say? So we are coming to pray. Let me read something from Ozea chapter 4. I can't hear unless I My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Let's know. He said, Jesus is God is saying, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So it means some people on this that they lack knowledge and they will be destroyed. It doesn't matter. You don't have any excuse. Also, for my mother, the mama, I salute to you. God bless you. He said, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Please proceed. Because you have rejected knowledge. Because you don't want to seek knowledge from God. You have rejected it. So listen to what will happen to you. 
I will reject you. He said from he won't seven so reject you because you must not you must seek knowledge from God the Lord. The church that I'm tending, the pastor that I've been praying for me, the pastor that I trust is it from you. And this prayer should not be one day. You must try as often ask God because some pastors can tend. Human being can tend himself. Yes, when things are not going over, they can turn. So you think that oh God revealed it to me last time that he was from God. Maybe the pastor has turned. So you must be asking God, God, is this man of God? Is he working for you? Some pastors can turn. I'm telling you, I will never deceive you. Praise in the Lord. Hallelujah. Go ahead. I, say, I will reject you from serving as my priest. It he says some of the pastors have been rejected because they don't want to seek the knowledge of God. They are doing things according to their own knowledge. So in the sight of man, they are called Papa, Apostle, Archbishop. People are bowing to them. But God is saying he has rejected them. Praise the Lord. Since you have forgotten the okay, okay. Mama, Mama, Mama Tina, hold on. I could share the pastor. I, I dreamt about my pastor being naked. Before the before the Look at this. When you see your pastor like this in a dream, he said, she prayed about her pastor, and then God will give a revelation that the pastor was naked in the presence of, of all the church members. Hallelujah. Look at Amen. it. Look at such, such a revelation. Mama, I said, that's a very, very true part, Daddy. God bless you, Mama. So, for some of the churches, your pastors, they are not working for God. And God said, because they are not seeking his knowledge, but they are doing things according to their own will. Hallelujah. That is what I've been telling you. Many of us we lack knowledge. The only person who can give you knowledge is no man, it is God. So I, I've been telling you, a sister seek the knowledge of a friend that I've seen a, a man want to marry you. She, she never asked God, she seek the advice from friend. And if God said, If you need knowledge, ask me. Listen to what happened. This sister has married to the man. This year is the eighth year. The man has slept with her once, and the once she forced, she raped the man, she raped the husband. She has stayed with the man for eight years and she raped the husband and that was the one and that 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 is the one that he had um he the, the one the night he raped the, the husband that is the night that he got she got pregnant and since then the man has never slept with her who knowledge are you seeking people of god we must seek the knowledge of the of god hallelujah praise the amen. lord amen amen so please pray about your pastor. Pray about your church. Don't, don't trust them. I'm telling you. Hallelujah. So yes. a sister, a sister is asking me on, on here. That man of God, if your pastor has divorced the wife, is he from God? I'm going to ask, I'm going to read Timothy to answer your question. I will I will about remember read the memo answer. Memo to us, but I want I want them to know. Yeah, they, they are, God does not appoint anybody as a man of God, though. They are rude governing a man of God, not because the person is a pastor or the person is powerful, but God has ordained rules, hallelujah, for Amen. anybody who stands for him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So let me read. If that man, if the qualities, I will answer you through the Bible, so that you not think, oh, this pastor is good, and why? Let me answer you. So if what the pastor is saying can cancel what the Jesus, what the Bible says, then because the Bible says that all scriptures are the breath of God. Hallelujah. So I'm reading from um Second Timothy chapter three. It said qualification for an overseer. A pastor is an overseer, or a qualification for a pastor. It said the saying is trustworthy. If anyone has fired to the office of an overseer, if anyone has fired to the office of a pastor, he desired to be noble, he, he desired a noble task. Therefore, an overseer must be above reproach. The husband of one wife. The husband of one wife. So if you know the Bible, and the pastor, the Bible has told you that your pastor should be a husband of one wife. And your pastor has divorced the wife, first one, second one, third one. And you are still saying that, oh, they all cheated on my pastor. Marriage is ordained by God. Adam and Eve. Because he was appointed by God. We all know what happened. No matter what Eve did, Adam never leave the wife. So if a pastor should, couldn't, couldn't stand the pain, or couldn't forgive the wife, or couldn't settle, how can he take care of the church? Hallelujah. And I know people who are not going to church. They cite such pastors. This pastor cry. This pastor would have name. He has even left the wife. Me. You want me to die on this marriage? I'm leaving. And what to them if it is true? 
Because let me tell you, Bible said that by all means temptation will come, by all means there will be sinners. But make sure that it does not come through you. So me, I'm a role model. You, you are a role model. People who are watching us. Hallelujah. So if a pastor can divorce the, a wife, any member can also divorce somebody in the church. So he, and Jesus said, it's not me who said it. He said that, I'm going to Jesus, what Jesus said about this. He said that therefore, an overseer must be above reproach. The husband of one wife, sober-minded, self-control. So if a pastor cannot forgive the wife, he don't have self-control. Hallelujah. Respectable, hospitable, able to teach, not a drunkard, not violent, but gentle, not quarrelsome, not a lover of money. He must manage his own household well. Hallelujah. So if a pastor cannot manage his, his own household well, how can he manage you? Hallelujah. With all dignity, keeping his children submissive. For if someone does not know how to manage his own house, hold, how will he be cared for God's church? If a pastor cannot manage his own, including the wife, if he cannot take care of the wife and he has left the wife, how can that pastor lead the church? Let's hear what Jesus also said about marriage. Let's read something from Matthew chapter 19. Matthew chapter 19, the verse, let's read the verse number number uh, number five. Going. He said, therefore, a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife. And the two shall become what? One flesh. One flesh. When you say one flesh, do you understand it? They have become one. Meaning nothing can separate there. So if a person has separated from the wife, people of God, there's an answer. He can't lead. I don't know. I stand to be corrected by God, but according to the Bible, that is what the Bible says. Hallelujah. Amen. So, my dear, God bless you. So, my dear, can you control? Can you continue? That is the last part we are ending. It. So, Bible said, okay, you let me conclude it. Five now. Uh, yeah. Matthew nineteen verse number five. No, 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 no. Hosea, Hosea, we are that with Hosea. Matthew. Okay, Hosea chapter 4, verse number 6, 6 B, you know, so since you have forgotten the law of your God, since you have also, forgotten the law of, God, of, your, of your God, I will also forget your sons. He said, God is saying, he will also forget you as my son, and your children, you also forget them. So, if your church, your pastor is not from God, and, and you are following him, God will reject you. It doesn't matter. So you will not say that is that's why in the Bible. So one day you say, God, when you die, you say, God, I didn't know. He said, Have you read Hosea chapter 4, verse 6? He said, God, I did not read it. They say, Open it. Open it. And they will open it and then they will read. Hallelujah. Amen. Mama, I mama get you. You said the pastor, the pastor said the wife was unfaithful. Yes. I, I watched a, I watch a man yesterday. I was even telling you, a man who has helped the wife. Listen to me. A man who has helped the wife open a shop for her, not to win the lady is a lesbian, and the lady has has have is having lesbian partners, and even a man, and the man, man cheated the lady cheated on the man. I don't know the end whether the man will forgive, but that is why Jesus came to die. He said, "Forgive us, also forgive us." Do you know what we have done in, before? Before we get in marriage, some of us we are we are worse when we are not married. We are having much multiple girlfriend and multiple boyfriends but you know god forgave you so if your wife have cheated on you the person has sex with your wife why are you not forgiving them so if you can't forgive them now can god also forgive you your sins when you read mark 11 25 he said whenever you are praying forgive so that i'll forgive you it does it, god knows that it's human being will offend you so if your pastor cannot forgive the wife i know a man of god in ghana one great man of god the wife has they are divorced he can marry, but he said he'll not marry because he knows what the Bible says. When the pastor has divorced the wife, yes, everybody can err. And if the person has not married, but he said, I'm appealing for God, and God told him that that one is between him and God. But according to the scripture there, a pastor must be a wife of one. So if your wife has divorced you or have divorced your wife, you cannot contain him. You should leave until the person dies, according to Matthew chapter 7. Until the person die before you can marry. If the person is still alive, you can't marry. God, God have mercy upon all of us. So, people of God, we are ending the sermon here. God bless you, and I love you. I want to lead you to Christ. I want to tell you, I read initially, I read something from Revelation chapter 22, verse 20. Jesus said, He's coming. He said, I should tell you, He's coming. 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 Hallelujah. He said, Who testified to this? He said, Surely I am coming soon. Jesus.
Jesus is coming soon. How prepared are you? Many have seen their Jesus today. Yes. If before we started this message, some have died. And before we wake up tomorrow, by the grace of God, some also go. The day you die, Jesus has come. Remember, once saved, it's not forever saved. If you are saved, you are taking Jesus as the Lord and personal Savior. And you don't live according to his word. You will never enter his kingdom. He said, not everybody who said to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of God, but only those who does the will of God. So if you go to that, you don't know the will of God, the will of God, you are going to hellfire. So some of your pastors said, the fact that you have been taken, you have, you have been baptized, and I'm taking just, you are going to have been deceiving you. He's a deceiver. I want to lead you to Christ. Have opportunity. Stop drinking. Stop masturbating. Stop lying. Stop watching pornography. Love your neighbor as yourself. Stop uh, 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 fidgeting. Stop lies. Uh, stop uh, every sin that God hates. Bleaching. Appreciate the way God created you. Uh, let me tell you, women who are who are doing the anash, you don't know what you are doing. Some of you are doing uh, 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 what do you call it? plastic surgery. Your breast, so that it will it, it, it will be healthy, so that it will it will be attracted to men. My sister, the day you die, God, God will tell you me what I created was all good. Where from this? And who allow you to come here? Uh, that is the way. You, that is how you know your real side. God will say, who allow you to come here? This is not what I created. I know what I created. Hallelujah. May God have Amen. mercy upon all of us. Amen. Now, now people are changing their hair. God said, I have number, I know the number of your hair. He know his wife, so this man, he said, I know the number of on your hair. You know the number, of, and why are you changing it? So when God asks you, I said, I know the number. This number, I don't know. Where did you get it? What are you going to tell him? God, I was influenced by friends. God, you know, in our world, you cannot even talk to God. You cannot even talk to God. I want to tell you, He's coming. He loves you. He loves you. Hey, no matter whatever you have done, Jesus can redeem you. That is why He came to die for our sins. Please, can you say this is after me? Whatever you are, I want to lead you to Christ. Can you just raise up your hand, whatever you are? Bull of God, can you please just raise up your hand and say this is after me? Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Thank you for speaking to me. Thank you for speaking to me. Please, I have sinned against you. Please, I have sinned against you. And I plead for your mercy that Lord, please have mercy and forgive me. And I plead for your mercy that Lord, have mercy and forgive me. It is written in your word. It is written in your word. That if I confess with my mouth. That if I confess with my mouth. That Jesus Christ is Lord. That Jesus Christ is Lord. And I believe in my heart. And I believe in my heart. That God has risen from the dead. That God has risen from the dead. I shall be saved. I shall be saved. So tonight. So tonight. I please mention your name. My I and esteem. Say a prayer. I take you, Lord Jesus. I take you, Lord Jesus. As my Lord and personal Savior. As my Lord and personal Savior. I'll follow you all the days of my life. I'll follow you all the days of my life. I will love you all the days of my life. I will love you all the days of my life. So help me, God. So help me, God. Please write my name in the book of life. Please write my name in the book of life. And cause me to live for you. And cause me to live for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Of in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Amen. God bless you all for joining me. People of God, I want us to raise just a lot we are going to pray about this prayer topic tonight in our service. In 30 minutes time, we'll be back here on TikTok, we'll be back here on Facebook, we'll be back here on YouTube in, in about 30 minutes time. Can you say this? As I'm saying, we are praying the Lord. If the church or the pastor, the church I'm going, or the pastor I have been listening to, including me, if you are listening to me, I want to God to reveal you. When God reveal you to me, when God reveal me to you, you will know the, the oil God has called on me. You will know the kind of man of God I am. Hallelujah. So now, Nothing will separate you, hallelujah, so that you, you have faith in God. If your God reveals your church to you, you have confidence that yes, this church is from God. Nobody can deceive you. Listen to me. Don't allow anybody to deceive you. Pray right now that Lord, I, I surrender my church and my pastor unto you. Please, if it's not from you, reveal it to me by your mercy. Give me revelation or let something happen so that I will know that this church is not from me. Sometimes God may expose the pastor. You see a lady who come and said, I'm dating him. Or you see them. A sister prayed about it and God showed him. A, a lady told her, do you know this man of God? He said, no. He said, this man of God is my boyfriend. He said, ah. He, she was attending to, I told my wife, she was attending to one of, the, one of the angels in Ghana. And one of the members said that, do you know this man is dating me? 
she that lady when they tell her about that church she will kill you she will defend the pastor until one day she saw that whatever you are you are praying the lord please give me the revelation and vision or let something happen for me to know that if my church is from you or this pastor is from you give me a confirmation either you confirm whether it's from you or not whatever you are ask god matthew 7 7 say ask that will begin unto you pray 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 whatever you are pray 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 you are telling the lord that oh lord i plead by your mercy please give me revelation Please give me revelation. Oh, Father, let something happen for me to know that whether that the church I'm attending is from you, whether the pastor I am under is from you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. It was in the name of Jesus Christ. People of God, the Bible. We say that for lack of knowledge, my people perish. We are seeking knowledge. You are praying that Father, give me knowledge to know you more. Father, give me knowledge. The Bible said that for lack of knowledge, my people perish. Many of you are children in the knowledge, the knowledge of God. When your child start knowing the knowledge of God, they will follow you to church. They will understand you. Some of your husband do not have knowledge of, of God. They don't have the knowledge of God. Your, your your spouses. So when you tell them about Jesus, they say, Hey, hey, go away, go away with your Jesus. People of God, we are praying the Lord. By your mercy, by your blood, give us knowledge. Give us the, the knowledge of you that we will understand you. Any knowledge that we lack in you, Father, I, we plead that Father restore it upon us in the name of Jesus. Seek for knowledge from God. Pray. We say, Rather, Mammy, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't answer. As it was again, the knowledge of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, I plead with you that you give me the you are, wisdom. Seek the knowledge, pray for the knowledge of God. Whatever you are praying, that Lord, I need your knowledge. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we are to be here with you. 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 Whatever you are praying, and seek the knowledge of God. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I speak for the knowledge of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we need your knowledge. We need your knowledge. Father, we need your knowledge by your mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, oh Lord, have mercy and give me your money to work as it is expected of me in you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says that I read something from Romans chapter 6, verse 16. When the Bible says that whoever you listen to become your you become a slave to that person you are telling god god if the pastor i am under has i have become a slave he has tied my soul i plead that release me from that tie that soul tie release me if the man has charged me if the church has charged has 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 me has 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 me deliver me by your blood this is the last prayer pray 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 pray, pray. some of you also have been changed I pray once again. I commit my church into your hand. I commit my man into your hand. Whatever you are praying, pray that oh Lord, if the time of God have turned me, oh Lord, let me out with the blood in the mighty name of Jesus. From them, sanctify me from them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus. And then, mommy, who and then, mommy, father, if I've been chained of any man of God has chained me, I can be asked by your blood. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, God, we are not going to be selfish. Some people are here, they can't fight the battle unless God intervenes. Some people, their eyes have been blind. They can't see. We are praying for all those who are going to churches that are not from God. All those who are attending churches that are not from God, who are having mind of God that are not from God. And they have tied their soul. They have they, they, they have changed their mind. They have, they have put and they are using sorcery that may God deliver them. Anybody attending in nature that's not from God, may God deliver them by the blood of Jesus. May God expose the pastor, may God give them, may God release them. Who fellowship at the place that the pastor or the church is not from God. Oh Lord, pray, 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 whatever you are praying. We pray for them, we pray for them. Say we are the Mausuma woman in Jesus' mighty name. Father, anybody who attended nature that's not of you. Father, release them. Those whose souls have been caged. Father, we pray that you release them, O Lord. You release them, O Lord. You release them, O Lord. All those people, Father, release them by your precious blood. All those who have been changed spiritually, all those who are in spiritual cells because of the church they are telling. Heavenly Father, we, we plead that you release them. Them that you release them in the mighty name. Father, we plead that you release them. 
For them, we plead for them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that you, O oh Lord, Father, release them. them by the blood of Jesus. The blood of the devil in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Whatever you are, thank God and let's go. Thank God. Time is passed. Thank, thank God. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, Lord, I thank you. We thank you once again for us. Father, Father, we worship your name. That, oh Lord, you are giving us the opportunity to be with you tonight and to pray and to ask. We glorify your holy name. Thy name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We give you praise and we give you thanks. Thank you, Father. We give you praise and we give you thanks. Thank you, Father. 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 Thank you, you, Father. Thank 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 all those who are watching me, we are meeting in 30 minutes time. Please prepare yourself, prepare your heart, and join me and my team. And your life will never be the same. Tonight, we are going to pray. Charity, how are you? God bless you. Tonight, God willing, we are going to pray. Please join me tonight, and let's pray. And I know my God will deliver you. The Lord bless you all. Jesus Amen. bless you all for joining us. Please. Uh, my man, uh, I've been a good. Can you put my number on TikTok, please? If you have not followed me, can you follow me? We are on Facebook, we are on YouTube. Just go to YouTube and type Mike Lossier Prime Ministry. Go to Facebook and subscribe to my AB. Maybe you are watching me, you have not subscribed. Please subscribe and TikTok to go there and then subscribe. This is your brother and your servant, Mike Lossier Frey. Come tonight, by the grace of God, we are coming to pray tonight on this platform. God has given us a lot of gifts. So come, maybe if there's anything hidden from you, God may reveal it to us and we will not, not hide it from you. We are going to tell you so that you will be able to know what to do. So please join us and come and listen to a uh, lot of messages. Let me give you one message. The sister is even watching me right now. The sister had a revelation. And he did not have a revelation. She, was, she, she, she said that stroke was about to attack her. I was there. She sent a voice. Man of God, I'm getting stroke. I'm getting stroke. My, my my mouth is standing, my leg is standing, my hand is standing. She just sent me the voicemail. So please pray for me. And she said that the mother told her, why don't you go uh, go to YouTube and pray uh, the, your man, the, your man, the, the man of God in US, your pastor in US. Go and pray some of his prayer, prayers and you'll be fine. The woman said that she went to YouTube and then she just saw one of my view, videos and she started praying with the video. The lady who, who was about to get attacked by stroke. Says as she was watching it within a few minutes, she fell asleep. And then when she woke up from the bed, the stroke, everything has departed from her. Hallelujah. I'm not saying that I have power. Power belongs to Jesus. It is the Holy Spirit that is using me. So the Holy Spirit does not sleep. That is why the Bible is still working. Because it was the breath of the Holy Spirit, the breath of God, it is still working. So if if you have you have not subscribed to my YouTube one day. Something may happen. You may call me or you may try not to. You may be disturbed. And I'm telling you, the moment we pray about and God, because God is using us, because it is God who has called us, His Spirit dwells on it. That is why I've given us knowledge that my son do it on YouTube so that if anybody needs help, he will come and do it. Hallelujah. And this is that the Holy Spirit is telling me right now. Do you know that it, that sister also forced me to be doing my video on, on YouTube? He said, Man of God, sometimes I go back and pray your prayer. So, but sometimes Facebook, which, but if it is on YouTube, so she encouraged me, the man of God, please do it on Facebook, on YouTube, so that if anything will go back and look at what not knowing God was talking to her. I just realized it right now. The Holy Spirit just whispered on me that she's the same person who told you, she encouraged me, the man of God, your prayer there. I've been going back to pray, so uh, please do it on YouTube so that we can go there and pray. And the same person had a situation that she nearly had stroke, and by the grace of God, God used that uh what uh, the, the the youtube to deliver please on this platform we don't need us to give you and go and buy this we don't buy anything here if anybody tells you here go and bring money it is not here it is a different plan why god says it's for free even the power does not belong to me it belongs to god so why can i charge you if i don't have that power hallelujah so here we tell you the truth we preach about salvation 
and we do all the will of God. And one of it is that we should preach to you to fear Him, to obey Him, and to honor Him, not to, for you to fear us. That is why here we preach the truth. And we also tell you about your end that no matter how and whatever God has done for you, one day you leave this earth. So if you don't prepare yourself for eternity, and we always tell you that, so oh, come, this is what is happening to you. You are going to do this. You will, before you realize, eternity is there. So here, in the evening, we we'll preach about salvation, and in the night, we we'll pray. Hallelujah. So join us, and our life will never be the same. We are not bragging, yes, but we are telling you the fact and the gospel fact. Hallelujah. So please, if you are watching us for the first time, God bless you. Um, Swanita Wamush. If I couldn't mention your name, forgive me. God bless you. Mama Gertrude Gary, bless you. So, people of God, there's a lot of news I, I would like to tell you. And as, as I'm speaking, God has opened my eyes. But if I do that, we will not come in the night. So, we are coming once again in about 30 minutes' time. Those on TikTok, please come back and let's pray. And I'm going to speak to you. Let me pray for, uh, let me let me just mention and those on TikTok for you to know that I saw you. Zipora, God bless you. Zipora, this no, I saw you in uh, when we started. God, God rich bless you. Um, Marin, Cumberland, forgive me. God bless you too. Mama Yama Robert, God bless you. Mama Gertrude, God rich bless you for the gift. Uh, my, my, my Regine, 635, God bless you. Marin, I'm seeing something about you, but if you are able to come in the evening, God willing, I'm going to tell you because of time. God bless you all. Peace. Shalom. Whatever you are, let's share the grace before we are in the presence of God. Let's share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely his goodness and mercy shall follow us. I love you. Listen to me. May the peace of God follow you. May his favor be with you. As you are going. May he send forth his angels to protect you and may he lead you in, in all your situation. God bless you and I'll see you. Remember, eternity is forever. Salvation is now. Don't live your, your life anyhow. God bless you and God Almighty bless me too. I pray that everything that we said, may God may God pour water on it and may he bless you. All those who share this live video, the Lord Almighty bless you all. Please, those on my platform, we are meeting at 6.30 US time, Eastern time, and Ghana time, we are meeting at 10.30. We have a WhatsApp platform. We pray every midnight. You can join the WhatsApp platform. You can also join our, our, our prayer meetings. And I'm telling you, you will never regret joining us. God, God will use us to deliver you. God bless you, and I will see you. I love you so much, and peace. Bye-bye. I love you. I love you all.